Hi everyone, it's been a while, sorry, I've been kind of missing from YouTube, there are multiple reasons for that, but I won't get into any details. I just wanted to say I have missed filming for YouTube and making a video or two here and there, uh, but at the same time you can always find me on Instagram and uh, take a look at the photos on my feed and uh, that's maybe the best way to see what I've been up to if you're interested at all. Uh, this is kind of a unplanned video. Uh, I'm not really sure um, what I am really most interested to show you other than my current uh, setup and what I'm using at the moment the most. Uh, here's the deal. Uh, I have finally, finally accepted the fact that I am not a one journal person and I never will be a one journal person. Uh, the thing I love most about the TN, the Traveler's Notebook concept, is that you can have multiple books in one cover, but I can never pull that off because my journals are always so chunky and uh, I do those collages and they get bulky so that's not an option and I love my covers too much so I can never just choose one and have one forever and ever <laughs> I know it's silly but um, the thing uh, we've also been discussing on Instagram in recent posts uh, different formats inspire me differently and when I use this book and this TN and this weekly vertic vertical layout it inspires me in one way this different color craft paper insert inspires me in a different way and I do different stuff this little guy again it's just a monthly it's an everyday carry setup so the monthly layout inspires me differently and I really enjoy decorating it in a cutesy colorful way and this is an A5 again a larger format a format like this inspires me to create something else something that I usually maybe wouldn't put in my TN I'm not sure I just started this notebook it uh, it looked fun so and I had this cover and I wanted to use it and maybe explore dif different collages and stamping projects and and this is fun this frame is fun so now that I've I'm at peace with the fact that I am definitely not a one journal girl lady woman whatever person <laughs> I can be at peace at having multiple journals, but the one thing uh, I also decided and uh, I'm going to be strict about that is that uh, I don't have a lot of dated multiple journals because I always keep a weekly. I have been doing that for years and years and years. My weekly is in here currently in the blue. Okay, the lighting maybe doesn't show it but this is the blue traveler's notebook uh, it has gotten quite shiny uh, I had it it's gotta be almost two years in uh, December so yeah a year and a half a year and a few months let's see uh, from the very start I got it it got scratched up and dinged up uh, easily you can see it and smooth and I appreciate that about this leather this is a camel and it's quite I had it for oh my god I don't know three or four years and it's still suede but it is getting a bit of a shine the thing is I never carry this one in my bag and I don't let it um, I don't carry it everywhere or, or I don't handle it as much as I did this one. This was my wallet for a while. But this is also a different kind of leather. But I do see it getting a bit of a shine. I'm not sure. It's still pretty much the same as I got it. Um, except, of course, for the 
customization I'll get into that later uh, but okay this is the blue this house is my weekly so regarding dated inserts uh, I promised myself I'm not gonna have too much uh, dated stuff in my life because pressure uh, I sometimes there are days or weeks I uh, I just don't have the time to pick up my journals so the thing is weekly I always had one I will always have one and weekly is my uh, beloved way of uh, making memories of a certain week or planning if I need to make a list or something but it's mostly memory keeping so I always have a weekly insert or a blank insert I uh, mark as uh, weekly in certain spreads and this will uh, I believe be in my life for <laughs> not just now but for a foreseeable future and a weekly spread is something if i don't have time or i don't make time to do anything in my life uh, arts crafts journaling related i will make time to do this i will take half an hour a week and i will do a weekly so this is the current insert for 2020 i chose the vertical layout i don't respect it most of the time as you can see i just do my thing but uh, i like the way it looks and uh, i like the structure it has if i want it if i don't want it i ignore it and uh, i don't have an issue with that so so this is the current one and weekly is in my life uh, i see it being in my life and that's it so that's one day one dated the other dated which uh, isn't an issue at all is a monthly uh, i uh, use this blue passport size as my edc as a wallet uh, I had it customized at Baumkuchen. Um They did a wonderful job and I love using it. It's really so convenient to use as a wallet. I have this 1.61 soft leather uh, goods wallet insert and uh, I, I really enjoy having it in this configuration. And uh, for an insert I have a monthly. Uh, it's just a lovely way to have a month at a glance. It's not It's not something I can't do without I can I I honestly I have my phone and a calendar on my phone with all these Things and monthly important dates appointments or anniversaries in my phone But this is fun. It takes like 10 minutes to decorate a monthly <laughs> like this and jot down the dates and I like flipping through it it brings me joy it's something that's completely optional I can do without but it is fun and that's why I have it and that's it a blank insert for notes so the other dated is this so when I have dates in my journal uh, I just uh, want to have them uh, used at the best of my abilities I don't like blank pages which are dated and it's kind of a compulsion thing and it's silly but yeah all other journals I have in use are un undated uh, in this camel at the moment the setup has been the same for years honestly I think in every video you have uh, on YouTube and when I show the camel you see this uh, folder and this folder and it's always the same I think I just put in some watercolor dot cards uh, in here so I can use them uh, I'm not home at the moment so I wanted to keep them near so um, the camel usually holds my happy mail treasure insert, junk journal style insert, uh, where I put down uh, beautiful paper hugs I receive in happy mail from my pen pals or in orders or I don't know, correspondence. But that's at home now and it's uh, like this thick, it got chunky. So what I did recently, I uh, got the Traveler's Notebook colored inserts. Uh, there are lots of colors. I think black, 
this is the red, pink red. I don't know. Uh, then there's there's yellow. They're really beautiful, uh, colorful but muted. And then there's blue. There's a. Oh my god! I'm sorry. I'm doing this with one hand, and I want to show you this blue. And uh, I took apart all the inserts. Uh, I mixed some white paper. And I put it all in one cover, just stapled it back together. It's no biggie, you can do it. You don't have, have to have any tools or a stapler. Just save the staple from the insert you took apart and put it back all in together through the same holes and voila. So uh, this is the insert I plan to use to continue my Happy Mail junk journal style or better said treasure journal style insert. Uh, because the other one I have at home is just like this thick. It doesn't make sense to use it anymore because you can't even glue down a piece of paper. So that's here currently and I use it only when um, either I want to do a little collage on colorful pages like this here. I can't really show you a lot for now. Uh, and uh, when I get happy mail and I want to keep a beautiful memory of that, I use it for that uh, particular pur person, purpose. Sorry. And uh, at the moment, this is the third insert I will use uh, for happy mail journaling. The third one. And I'm really happy about it. And I like flip love flipping through old ones. <sighs> My tongue is getting tight. I didn't talk this much while I was filming in a long time and uh, I rarely have the opportunity to use English lately. I mean, I do for my job, for my work at my workplace, but it's a different vocabulary, different surroundings. So yeah, this is, this kind of feels strange. Um, okay. So undated uh, again this is undated so the plan is to use it whenever I'm in the mood whenever I feel like I want to try to create something on an A5 format so uh, I'm not home I mentioned that I'm not I'm I live in Zagreb in Croatia it's a continental city and uh, at the moment we are on the beautiful island of Tres um it's practically summer still here and uh we have this uh, opportunity to work from home home office uh, we decided to spend uh september here because of our son he's uh, a little over three years old he's uh, currently out of kindergarten he will start back in october and we wanted him to enjoy the fresh air the sun the sea as long as possible the weather is beautiful so we are working from here he spends uh, the time we're working with his grandma going to the beach and having fun and we're working and on the weekends we have fun together so as i'm not home i'm not able to show you other uh, journals i have because um, I didn't really have the chance to take it all with me. But uh, from the other types of journals, I have another A5. It's a Midori uh, one day, one page, also undated. I use that mostly for Project Me 19 by Cafe Analog and uh, Project Me 20 Cafe Analog. But I only do uh, like maybe one or two uh, entries a month for that challenge. So uh, as the book is this thick, the one day one page, you can see it in some of my previous videos if you want to take a look at that configuration. Uh, the book is this thick, it has tons of pages. I only use like this much and it has so much space left and I'm gonna continue using it sporadically for the Project Me pages. And I also have one Midori um, A6 in cotton paper. I had it for, I don't know, two years now uh, there's 
about a half of it blank still. I'm not completely sure. Uh, the cotton paper is beautiful for stamping and um, as is this paper also, but cotton paper has, a, I kind of feel like it has a certain cushion effect. This is the regular Midori. Um, it looks white here, but uh, on the, because of the lighting, but uh, in real life, oh, it really looks white. It's kind of creamy, creamy color. Um, and the cotton paper is white and it has, um, I wouldn't even call it a texture, uh, but it's like a cushion for your stamps. <laughs> I'm not sure how to describe it best. It stamps wonderfully if you use water-based uh, pigment inks and it's just a dream to do stamping on that paper. So I keep that handy. I still have lots of pages left and sometimes I like playing in that format. So I guess that's it. Uh, there's going to be changes in 2021. I already uh, decided on some stuff. Uh, the weekly is staying as it is, but I will move it to another TN, I think. My olive edition is currently at Baumkuchen uh, being uh, customized. Um, I hope I will get the opportunity to film an unboxing and setup of that configuration. Uh, my plan for the olive is to put on the zipper pocket like this one, but in front. And I think a secretarial is in here in the back. Um, rivets, I'm not sure. And uh, some embossing I'll show you when it gets here. Uh, but that's the general plan and uh, I like the secretarial idea because it can hold my writing board and some papers. Um, this here is a do-it-yourself project I did recently. I got the superior labor, uh, the as you can see, heart pen for my bag, for my backpack and uh, I didn't want to throw away this beautiful piece of leather so I just had it sewn in on uh, the back. I don't mind this little hole in the marking. Uh, it does its job. It holds my writing board and if I have some papers I want to toss in and I think it looks quite cool. So the same thing will go in the olive and in the form of a secretarial pocket back there so uh that's gonna be the change so the happy mail journal will be i think right here and uh for this one i'm not sure if i'm just gonna keep a filled out insert here or maybe do something else this is still open to thought and uh maybe some new plans. Uh, also for this little guy, when this monthly runs out, I'm thinking I'm not gonna get it for uh, 2021 because as I said, it's it's beautiful. It's uh, It makes me happy. It's convenient, but it's also redundant. I have blank inserts I can use to jot down notes and stuff and uh, I also have this beautiful mixed paper, handmade paper insert by, um, that's handmade by uh, Softly Studio. And uh, I, uh, I'm currently not using it in uh, the, this TN cover because it doesn't fit, it's too bulky. Uh, I will definitely put it in here when I move out with my monthly and keep it in here for, journaling in the passport size uh, and making collages and uh, journal pages in this format as well. That insert is currently at home in Zagreb and uh, I'm sorry I can't show it to you right now but uh, again there are photos on my Instagram account if you want to check it out. Um, so I'm guessing for the winter this will not be an ADC uh, because it will be at home with that uh, mixed paper insert and uh, of course the monthly removed 
but as soon as I get uh, my olive edition back I will use it as a wallet for the winter I guess autumn and winter and um, try to see how that configuration with the front pocket works I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep I don't know money in the front but I think the front will be for pens I carry along with me and I also have this wallet insert and I will just keep the money in here like I always did when I used this blue as a wallet so because this is also like a wallet insert that's being used right now for washi samples and and uh, papers these are receipts from the post office for tracking and I have some postcards and paper notes back here if I want to mail something. I just love this brass tag. I think it's lovely. That's such a charm to a notebook. Let me just see if I can close this up. One-handed. I'm not really good at it. Oh boy, it's upside down. Too many charms. Uh, so yeah, lots of plans for 2021 and of course, don't you know it, a Habonichi dilemma. Yeah, so uh, I, uh, one of my decisions was in 2018 when it finished, uh, on my channel you can find a video somewhere. Uh, I never figure out how to put, you know, when people say you can check out my video about Hobonichi, you'll find the link up there. I never figure out how to do that. So I don't know. I'll try. <laughs> if I don't succeed, I'm sorry. You won't find the link up there. But uh, there is a video and a whole rant about Hobonichi. I had um, an A6 dated Hobonichi Techo in 2018. And I journaled in it and uh, I had this compulsion to not leave a single page blank because it was dated. And uh, most of the time I did find a couple of minutes a day to uh, journal in that little Hobonichi and I loved the filled out pages but sometimes uh, life would get in the way and I didn't have the time to do it and I would play uh, catch up. And I uh, sometimes had a week of pages I needed to catch up with and that was stressful. And at the end of the year I said, oh my god, I'm getting a Midori, one day one page, no dates, no stress and no Hobonichi for Petra. Uh, okay, so 2019, perfect. I had my Midori one day and my pa one page, my TNs, I was satisfied. 2020 again no Hobonichi I did get the Hobonichi day free version in N5 but that's a journal for my son I jot down memories and notes about certain events and maybe watercolor a bit for him or uh, paste uh, some theater tickets or uh, um, ephemera from everyday life from I don't know candy wrapping he likes something that's a memory for him so one day we can all look to the journal and say hey Gerga in the summer of 2020 you really enjoyed eating this ice cream and you said this funny thing and uh, laugh about it and have fun or I don't know you really enjoyed this cartoon and I make a little illustration of that cartoon character in that day free Hobonichi and you get the point I journal memories for him like memory keeping but no Hobonichi for me <laughs> and uh, yeah after like a month of agony should I get a Hobonichi for 2021 I really like uh, the feel of the A6 format I was flipping through my old journal and remembering how beautiful it was to work in an A6 oh, small and compact but still again I was frustrated by the dates and I said no I'm not gonna get it I'm not gonna get it I got it of course I did because I'm uh, for one week <laughs> 
<laughs> and uh, I've been uh, missing it for two years and now I have crumbled and uh, B <laughs> it's my birthday in October and my husband mm -hmm. said like uh, there must be something you want from your uh, little journaling supplies uh, that you love so much so uh, I don't know what to get you for the for your birthday <laughs> choose something you must have something on your wish list and I just said like well yeah Hobonichi <laughs> so brace yourself <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm I'm not sure if I did the right thing it was like a month of agonizing <laughs> deliberation should I should I not should I should I not <laughs> but it's somewhere on the way from I don't know where I got it from Stilo Stilo uh, it's a stationery shop in Italy uh, I have purchased from them before they are wonderful I have amazing customer service so I chose to buy from them because it's uh, Europe and I'm in Europe so it's easier for me and also uh, they had the cover I wanted yeah it's the most bright colorful full version in the collection so yeah and what else I got the cover I'll try to show you when it arrives I got the cover and cover and the uh, A6 uh, Hobonichi, it's the English version because I think it's because it's a European shop and when you have a deal with Hobonichi, uh, if you're from a shop from Europe, I think they're obliged to take the English version. I'm not sure. This is just an assumption. I know they have certain rules for distributors. So I don't know. I got the English version. I'm okay with that. I'm not all that tied up in the detail it has to be the original book they call it or I'm not sure in Japanese I would have liked it a tiny tiny bit more if it was an AVEC because bulk but at the other hand I don't plan on collaging in my Hobonichi anymore uh the 218 was a hobonichi explosion disaster and it bulked up so much it uh, spread out like a fan i'll try to do in the editing that fancy part when you insert a photo <laughs> in a video so maybe i'll be able to show you so it was an explosion i didn't enjoy it the last two months of journaling one were a pain in the behind and uh, I want to avoid that so I'm mostly interesting in exploring watercolor illustrations and a form of gratitude journaling along with that creative side we'll see where life brings me these are just thoughts and intentions uh, I have written down and planned out for myself in 2021 regarding journaling goals and my art style development goals uh, I'm not sure uh, at this moment <laughs> when you take into consideration everything that happened in 2020 you're um, well not I'm not really sure what what life will bring so but we can hope for the best we can hope for a beautiful creative year and um, at least one hour a day set aside for uh, our creative souls and our creative outlets which uh, bring us joy well they bring me joy if you're here on this channel I think you're one uh, uh, one of those people as well and uh, we need to take care of our um, inner artists inner creator I'm not sure which word I like most creator maybe and uh, do things that keep us calm keep us entertained and happy 
content, uh, find something you like, find a medium, find a vessel, find time, make time. I tell you sometimes I should be sleeping at midnight and I'm not because I need to draw something out, plan something out, make a collage, just stick paper on paper because sometimes touching and creating stuff is more valuable than sleep. Sometimes, sometimes not. <laughs> and I don't know, we'll see. These are plans, plans change. Uh, this is the current situation. Uh, we'll see. Well, thank you for joining me. Uh, I had fun chatting with myself, <laughs> but with you, of course. <laughs> Uh, this video is half an hour long. I uh, I don't want to take up any of your time. Oh, I wanted to show you this uh, at the same time. I wanted to show you this, but this is the beautiful pen roll uh, from Superior Labor. And uh, I also took it with me on uh, this trip to this stay to Island Tres, uh, our summer home, because it's the most beautiful way to keep your pens uh, with you and art supplies. Um, can you hear that? I think that's gorgeous. I love that sound. Uh, the letter is in the color natural. It's, uh, it's, as I said, from Superior Labor, but I did get it uh, from Nomado store. They are based in Belgium, I think. Again, uh, Europe. Uh, it's more convenient than ordering from Japan because customs, long shipping, um, etc. But uh, Nomada store is a wonderful stationery store. I uh, I bought from them a couple of times, and again, amazing customer service. I will always say that um, if the service is. Uh, amazing i will point that out for you and be sure to check them out this is not sponsored or anything i'm not affiliated with them in any way i just was a happy customer a couple of times and i wanted to point you in their direction uh, because they carry beautiful brands uh, and they are europe based so you can check them out if you're also from europe it may be more convenient for you to order from them then uh, especially for the superior labor goodies then directly from japan or whatever so you can avoid all that hassle with imports of leather goods so yeah i have ta taken up uh, a lot of time so um okay this is what i brought along along with some stamps and stickers and mm, i don't know what else i bought watercolors yes watercolors but regarding journals and uh, writing supplies this is it um i'll do my best to keep you up to date uh, regarding my hobonichi order and uh, of course uh, bk truly yours customization on my olive i'm looking forward to that the olive is in LA as we speak and I hope um, I hope it gets to me soon and talk to you then we'll see if some plans change until then or not anyways have a good weekend and talk to you soon bye